Good evening. All right, now it's time for dinner. I am going to make some uh, hamburger sliders. Make sure that you get less than 7% fat um, on the hamburger meat. You start off, um, I, what I chose to uh, save some time and I chopped up some uh, onions and garlic and I put some, um, a pinch of cumin, a little bit of chili pepper, um, a pinch of cinnamon, uh, a little bit of garlic salt and some chipotle um, grinder. And uh, most of this is all to, to seasoning taste. Um, I uh, used also some garlic salt and I uh, mixed that all together and I sauteed that for about two minutes, no more than two minutes. Um, depending on how crispy you like your onions, I kind of like mine sauteed a little. Or you could just do it raw. Um, and um, I measured out 100 grams of uh, hamburger meat, which is about, you know, once again, about the size like of a little ball inside your hand, 100 grams. And then I have some set aside for the kids. Um, go ahead. I'm going to use a George Foreman. Um, it is much better for you, lower calories. And I have some Pam butter. Um, remember, the more you spray, the more calories you get. Surprisingly enough, it says zero calories, but if you read further on it, um, it actually uh, tells you that the longer you spray, you know, the more it counts for calories. So just to add, do a quick go through there. And um, I am going to take some Worcestershire sauce, which has zero calories. And I'm going to just poke little tiny holes inside of oops, <laughs> that. And I'm going to splash them in there. And I'm going to poke some holes in the other one. Splash them in there. And then you're going to go ahead and I'm going to make mine into uh, just uh, smaller ones. So I have, it looks like I have more on my plate. Um, sometimes you deceive your, your own eyes and you think... It's more than you get. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to go ahead and add some onions. So actually, that's pretty good. You split in half and throw about a tablespoon of onions in with your hamburger meat. And go ahead and just mix it up. It's going to be a little messy. It's okay. We can wash up out here. So, mix, 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 mix. Okay, and then split it in half. Or you can make one big burger. I choose not to. Um, I think it gets more seasoning um, into a smaller area. So. Plus, I'm not big into really thick burgers myself. So, just make like a little tiny patty. Throw it right on. And then mix this other one up. All right, and uh, I'm going to split this in half, throw a little onion, throw a little onion, mix this up for the boys, I'm going to split theirs in half as well, and theirs is going to go, remember what side theirs goes on, because theirs is not measured out where yours is. that right on. Mix, mix, mix. Split in half. Right there. One last one. Mix. Hammer down. And throw it right on top. Now I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands. I'm going to take these away. Make sure you get, you know, hot water. You got a lot of bacteria on your fingers, and we're going to be uh, working with some dessert as well. Okay, so now I am going to, because I like a little more spice, just add just a hint of chili powder. Ooh, that's a little more than a hint, huh? That's right. 
I just blend that right in. And just a little hint right there. And wipe up my little station over here that you don't see. And then I am going to close this. All right, now I chopped up earlier today. I chopped up um, two um, two strawberries uh, that um, were frozen, and I put some stevia vanilla flavoring, um, and I just put uh, probably about like a couple of squirts, and then uh, a couple of squirts of lemon juice. And I added uh, a pinch of cinnamon. I'm just kind of sauteing that up a little bit. It looks like it's pretty much good to go. Just uh, turn it up just a little bit more. And then I chopped up um, 110 grams of apples once again. And I'm going to cook that up. I'm going to saute that um, in my little blender. And I'm going to just pour that right on top, and that will be um, our dessert. Now the hamburgers that we're looking at um, are uh, 150 calories that we're having tonight. Um, the onion that I'm using is our vegetable, and um, I'm putting a little bit of uh, salsa on top, which is going to be equal to about 10 uh, calories. And um, the apples are 52 calories, and the strawberries are 6 calories, so you're looking at about 60 calories there and 150 calories. So you're looking at 210 calories um, that you're having for dinner. And so you're left with like uh, 82 calories after this of um, kind of what you can have for the rest of the day. So 82 calories, you can think about um, another healthy snack. Um, and I will go through my pantry to see what All right, that is cooked up. Now, it usually takes only about two minutes for the burgers to cook um, on the foreman. The thing I love. Go ahead and look at those, and those look fantastic. I'm going to unplug it now, and then i uh, going to throw my strawberries that I sauteed into this little tiny blender. Alright. Hold that up a little. Probably add a little bit of um, lemon juice. And then a little bit of water, just so it blends up just a little bit better. And there's not a lot in there, so um, it's a little bit harder to blend. So let's go ahead and take this out. So you can mix this up. Try it. Mmm, so, so good. Okay. So we got that, and I'm just going to take it, and it's warm, so you just pour the warm strawberry mixture right on top of the apples. And then, So that's that right there, and you're just going to kind of rub that in there, make sure you get a good amount. And so that's your, your strawberry apple dessert. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Now, these look like they are beautiful. We're going to take the to side and get our plate. So remember, we have to remember which ones are ours. And it looks like this one and this one. Okay. 
So there it is, and then you take your little bit of salsa, so about a tablespoon of salsa. And voila, there you go. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So, right here, and just think you still have 82 calories to enjoy for the rest of the night. So, I hope that you enjoyed this, and I hope that it tastes good. Have a great night.